ಸ್ವಹಂ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ನೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಂಧಂ So Saram everyone today we are going to discuss very interesting question about miracle of materialization and um, well in my previous few of my previous videos um, I spoke about uh, my vision of the meaning uh, well wonderful a um, miracle of materialization and our beloved swami shri satyasai was very famous um, because of many reasons including this wonderful and uh, rather uh, unusual miracle of materialization of course um, uh, the main point of his mission the main miracle if you wish is the miracle of spiritual transformation so it means any amount of materializations then healings whatever predictions etc not really not really what is uh, the main reason why lord god uh, incarnated on this planet and of course exactly spiritual transformation is the one uh, what is uh, the main and any action any miracle which we can um, observe in, in, in Swami's life was just a tool for him to work with our human consciousness including materialization and uh, of course I'm sure you remember that Satyasai himself <coughs> described the meaning as the visiting cards okay wonderful Uh, explanation of <coughs> the meaning <coughs> but now okay uh, more than 10 years after Satyasai left his physical body we have a uh, quite number of spiritual masters devotees who claim that they also can materialize let us say rings uh, rosaries some coins etc and actually it's uh, nothing new with this because even when Satyasai was in his physical body we know that number of devotees also performed this miracle but um, we have to be careful who is really performing you know uh, if we see this um, from the standpoint of ego then of course it is possible to say that okay I am really great and I can heal I can see something through them okay power of clear ones or I can materialize by the way I can't um, but of course spiritual approach is that really speaking we are doing nothing we are performing nothing we are just serving God and uh, while we serving God sometimes miracles also can happen I'm sure you know quite many cases when okay some side devotees may pray to Bhagavan and uh, some wonderful healing may happen and then the question is who is the healer and of course we, we have only one healer and that's God we as the human beings can pray to God and uh, pray for certain okay relative or friend and then only God can heal the person we can't really heal so that's huge confusion with the healers by the way yeah when some healers they think that they are so great that they can manage to heal nothing like that and for us as side devotees it's especially clear actually 
And the same with the materialization. It's really happened. Yeah, I, I know quite few, quite number of Sai devotees who are just perform this miracle with a deep understanding that really that's not uh, they who are performing this miracle, but Sai consciousness, which is beyond any physical uh, you know, presence or not presence, you know, in a, in a human sense, we say, okay, Satya Sai left his physical body something like more than 10 years ago at the moment, yeah, now uh, 2022, yeah. But he as consciousness, he's always here, here and now. And then it is quite possible that through media of, of like, to some devotees, he may kill people, he may even materialize. I mean, rings, rosaries, any, anything, any artifacts which people may need for the purpose of blessing. And of course, just we have to be careful with our understanding that even if this happened, it's purely divine will and divine energy. And for some side devotees, it's a very challenging situation actually. And some side devotees, they reject even the possibility they accuse such a devotees as the cheaters, but I don't think it's right. I think that we have to be open-minded enough to see that why we have to limit Swami. Even if he is not in his physical body as Satisai at the moment, I don't see any contradictions if he still can perform miracles through his devotees, including miracle of materialization. So it's really happened, and um, just we have to understand properly a few things. First, that's not the person who is materializing, but Psi consciousness through this person or any other person. I, as I told you, I have a um, like number of examples when even now, even um, now Psi consciousness can materialize things through different Psi devotees. And also we have to remember that the main purpose is spiritual transformation and blessings. And just just tool for that transformation. Saram, see you next time. Satsavituruvarinyam Bharago Devasya Nimahi Diyo Yonak Prachodayantam